I'm just finishing up a vlog edit here. All right, it's exporting. Here's the thumbnail. I don't know why, I just, <laughs> I don't know. Look at my cute mouth. Oh my God, just look at this whole aesthetic going on right here with the mouse pad and the mouse and my nails and oh my gosh. Okay, I had to update the thumbnail before posting the video because this just doesn't fit the vibe of the vlog, but can we just appreciate it for a minute? Okay. <laughs> Instead, I'm going with this because I wanted to title it Getting Things Done and Having Fun and um, this didn't match either of those topics in the title. So, yep, this is the new one. <laughs> I need to plan out my week and figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna make a general list and then assign different tasks to different days. Well, first of all, we can write visitors. I have a drag show I'm going to, and then also a wedding. So the weekend will be pretty busy. I probably won't be able to do a live stream on the weekend, but I could possibly do it during the week to make up for it. So this week I need to edit the camera setup video. I also need to film the next video, which is gonna be a hot guy video. <laughs> I haven't decided which one yet. I'm gonna remake my list because I, I had a list at one point and I lost it and then I had things to add to it and I just, I need to rebuild the list and build it on my phone so I don't lose it. <laughs> so yeah, it's been about two months since the last Hawkeye video, so I need to get another one out there. And then I also need to edit that video, which would be done on a different day than the filming. I'm gonna write general house cleaning. <laughs> It's fine up here, but I just want to make sure it's still clean by the weekend since there will be people here. It's mainly the basement. I just want to tidy up a little bit more because now that we finally got rid of that cardboard, there's more space down there. I also really want to get more enamel pin designs done, like done and sent off to a manufacturer. Not the manufacturer I'm using currently. I want to try someplace new just because I don't know, I was impressed by my manufacturer at first, but I feel like the quality has dropped and they just take so long. Like they estimated 22 to 30 business days for my last order, or not business days, just days. And it's been more than the 30 days. So I don't know, now that it's Monday, I'm gonna wait and see if they get back to me. So I'll check tomorrow morning and if there's no response, I'm gonna have to email them being like, yo, where are the pins? because they delayed my pins hugely last time. And so I'm kind of scared they're gonna delay them again. And because I reordered existing pins with them, but I now need to make new designs. And so the new ones are gonna go to a new manufacturer. Guess what just came in the mail? My missing royalty check from my book. As most of you know, my publisher went bankrupt. And so nobody was getting paid for anything. And they owed me a lot of money and our publisher got bought out by Penguin Random House. So I'm hoping they'll continue to publish the book. I don't know if they will, but at least I got the royalties I was owed. So that's exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna go deposit that check pretty much right away here because these checks are always void after 60 days and I always forget about them. I'm also gonna go to PetSmart for more cat food. We were just there yesterday and we got a bit of some new stuff to see how the cats would like it. Kiki seems to like it, but Midna will not even touch it, which is surprising because she's a little piggy who meows for food in the morning until she gets it. Like they have dry food all the time, but we give them the wet food every morning and Midna's like meh, 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 meh. But she would not touch the new stuff. So I'm gonna go get some of what we were feeding them before. Look at her, she's practically starving. Okay, I'm back with the food the cats like. This is the stuff that they like. I also got these little brushes for cleaning things out. Mostly I want them for getting in the little nooks and crannies of the cat fountain. And I got some ice packs. I got four of these at the dollar store. And I got little pot holders. This is to go by my Keurig. I just want something that'll stay sitting here all the time because I use a reusable K cup and it's three different pieces and I have to rinse them out and stuff like that. And because they're wet, I lay down a towel usually, but I've been wanting something that's just dedicated and stays here for setting the wet parts on. So that's what I'll be using. And it was a two pack, yeah. I also grabbed a coffee because with Tim Horton's new reward system, I have a few free coffees stacked up. All right, it is time 
to eat. All right, let's begin. This is what my filming area looks like. So the camera setup video was pretty easy to trim down because it was filmed kind of vlog style. Oh, I'm just noticing some issues with this. Okay. I'll use the paint bucket tool to fill this in. But see, this is the problem with the paint bucket tool is it does stuff like that. We'll fix that in a second. Anyway, it was quick to trim, but now I'm doing the little text overlays, which is going to add some time to this. I also animated them, so they'll go like this. Just a cheap IKEA <laughs> desk. <laughs> Although now that I've animated one, I can copy and paste the animation across all the pencils. Although right now I've only made the one pencil. So there's plenty more to do. Plus I am doing links for this. So I have a little document going with all the items and their links because this will go in the video description. Okay, it's getting a little late, but I'm finally done the video. Everything is uploaded and good to go. The thumbnail took quite a while, but I finally got it to a point where I like it. Oh, that's dark. It just felt like it was missing a little something, and then I figured it out. So it's now the next day. It's actually the evening, and Christian just got home. So I've been working on a video, but I'm going to take this show on the road and continue on the couch. There's nothing to see here. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Nothing going on here. Just just do not concern yourselves with this. I keep having to stick this on here so that I don't get demonetized. Whoever sculpted this, they put in every last detail. I'm I was actually shocked at how much detail there was. Every little bit and piece of skin. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go relocate to the couch. So I worked on the Bowser art for a while and then I switched over to enamel pin stuff because I wanted my designs ready for tomorrow morning's live stream because I'm going to have to take them into Photoshop and do the clean final line art even though this is pretty clean for these two <laughs> and then pick the Pantone colors to assign to them and do the mock-up to send to the manufacturer. It took me forever to figure out a design for this one because initially I was playing around with different detailed borders around it and then I thought, oh, why not just make it a canvas? And yeah, I ended up really liking that. This one I'm not too sure about the cheeks. I might... Eh. It would be really hard to screen print over the metal whiskers like that and so uh, I might change up the cheek design a little bit even though that looks super cute. I could do it how I do the buns and just do the outline cheek, even though it's not quite as cute as that. I really love the bun though. I like how the head looks like it's tilting back a little bit, <laughs> like the bun's just squeezed into there. It's just such a puffy outfit. I don't know. So cute. I also haven't decided yet what colors I'm going to use for the metal on these. Because this one has text, I'm tempted to do the dark metal. It would just show up the best on the pink. And the others though, I don't know. I've done gold for all my buns so far. So I could stick with that, who knows. I think this would be cute in gold. And speaking of enamel pins, my manufacturer did get back to me today saying that my pins are done. So they should be here in a few days and I'm gonna check them out because I don't know. We'll see how good they are this time. The quality has dropped since I first started using this manufacturer and so I'm thinking of trying new manufacturers, well, like one or more new manufacturers for these ones. Although my manufacturer is pretty good for the dark metal ones, but the gold metal pins are the ones that always get screwed up. So I could send the Amazing Ort one to my manufacturer if I'm doing the dark outlines. <laughs> but I might find someone 
new for the other ones. Or someone new for all of them. I don't know. It's just scary because I'll be ordering a large quantity. Part of me thinks, oh, send each pin, each of the new pins to a different manufacturer. So I'll test out three at the same time. But with each design, I'm probably going to be ordering like 300 of each. And that's probably a little low too for some of these. It's just, it's tough because the more designs I get, the more ridiculous my stock levels get. And there's only so much I can package. And so I have to limit my stock level at least somewhat. Because <laughs> I reordered all my pins that I've done previously except Candy Cane Bun because that's discontinued. And so there's there's going to be a lot. I, I tried to really limit myself on the reorders for the ones that I've already done. <laughs> I guess I'll figure that out tomorrow while I'm doing the mock-ups because I write the quantities on that. So yeah, we'll see. I also made a list of everything I need to make sure I have in stock anytime I launch my store. And I don't know if I'm missing anything. I can always add anything else that I think of. But... This is all the stuff that needs to be in stock at sufficient quantities every time. Because I need to start gearing up for the next round, even though I don't plan on launching those until, I don't know, well, oof, part of me thinks September, but it would have to be late September or early October. Although there's a Halloween one, so I want to get it out ASAP. <sighs> I'm going to aim for sometime in September, but that's actually tough because it's nearly August already. Oh my god. I just need to make sure I have more stuff done in advance this time, like make sure all the boxes are folded and have the tissue paper in them already. Stack the boxes open this time instead of closed. Make sure I have the stickers done because I didn't have those done ahead of time last time. Because I, I put uh, two, where did I write that? Oh, the Bailey face stickers are out small, large, because I'd like to have some kiss cut ones that I use for sticking down the tissue paper, but then some die cut ones that I just include for free in the box because I think it'd be fun to receive a little die cut sticker. It wouldn't be anything fancy, but probably just the Bailey face, at least for now. <laughs> or maybe every time. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll end up not even having time to do that. The point is I need to start ordering some of this stuff and prepping it why I want to get these enamel pins done ASAP so I can order them ASAP. Like my manufacturer takes a whole month to do them, although I'm looking at some other ones that claim they take less time, so we'll see. Companies are constantly emailing me being like, hey, you want to make enamel pins with us? And I kept being like, no. Now I'm like, well, actually, maybe, yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to bed. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog.